for the cross section of this road bridge, calculate the depth of the valley and the length of the bridge. So identifying what we need to calculate, we need to calculate this depth here, or this length of this triangle here, and then the total length of the bridge. Okay, these problems, because uh, it's split into two different right angled triangles, it's best to draw them out separately. So drawing separate right angled triangles. So first one we're gonna draw out is this one. And then we're gonna label this angle here 32, and we know that this length here is 560 meters. So labeling the sides, this one side here will be opposite, this side here would be adjacent, and this would be the hypotenuse because it's opposite. Remember, adjacent is next to the angle, opposite is opposite the angle, hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle. Now, here, this will give me the depth, and this will give me part of the length of the bridge. So, calculating the depth first, so we've got opposite hypotenuse and angle, so that means I need to use that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 32 is equal to the depth, which I'm going to call D, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 560. And that means that the de depth will be 560 sine 32. Using my calculator, that will give me 269.75 meters. So the depth will be 270, 97 meters. Right, now calculating this length here, because this length here will give me part, this length A, A of the bridge, and this we'll need to calculate B using this triangle here. So, cos, this time because we've got adjacent, so we're going to use cos, so cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos of 32 will be equal to A over 560. And rearranging that, we're going to get that A is 560 cos 32 which is going to give me 474.906 metres. OK, we're not going to round it off just yet because we're going to need that here in order to calculate uh, the whole length. We're going to need to find this one as well. No, but we know the depth is 560 sine 32. So drawing out this triangle now, this is B, this is 560 sine 32 and this angle here is 48 so labeling the sides adjacent opposite we don't need the hypotenuse here so we've got adjacent opposite adjacent and angle so it means I need to use tan theta so tan theta is opposite over adjacent and therefore tan of 48 will be the opposite side which will be 560 sine 32 560 sine 32 divided by B. Now you have to be careful when you rearrange this because when you rearrange this, the B will come here and the tan 48 will come here. So B will be 560 sine 32 divided by tan 48. Uh, use the fraction button on your calculator and that will give an answer 267.199. So we now have this length and this length, so we can say that the total length of the bridge is going to be 474.901 plus 267.199, which would give me 742 metres, correct, to three significant figures. OK, this has been a video to show you how to calculate the depth of a valley and the length of a bridge. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.